Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do the personality nail polish tag. This was created by Kenny from Kenny Nicole here on YouTube. She tagged me in it and so did Maureen from Glamour and Nails. So I'm going to leave a link to their channels down below if you're interested in checking them out. This tag is a way to get to know me but still talk about nail polish. So you might learn something new. I'm gonna start out with what's on my nails right now and that is Noodles Nail Polish Fireside. Coco. This is a Crelly glitter mix with dark brown, gold, and copper glitter in there. This is so, so pretty, and the name fits it so well. But I picked this out because... I love, I love hot cocoa, but not only that, I'm fortunate enough to live in a home that has a wood burning fireplace. So in the winter time, we like to start the fire and drink some hot cocoa. So of course I had to include this. The next one is similar to the previous one and this is Pink Lemonade from Noodles Nail Polish. I promise this is the last noodles. Uh, this is a pale pink curly base with white, yellow, and also darker pink glitter in there. This is another two to three coater. You know, that's the nature of curly glitter polishes. But as a child, I wasn't allowed to drink soda. Um, my mother never bought it for me. When I was allowed to, I mean, it was very rare, like maybe twice a year. And so my drink of choice when we would go out to eat was actually lemonade. And even as an adult now, I drink a lot of water, but when I want something sweet, my go-to drink really is lemonade. The next one is La Vie Espel. This is a white curly base with a ton of different colored glitters in there. I really, really like this polish and you guys have seen this before. Uh, La Vie Espel spell as far as I understand translates to a beautiful life in English and I really feel like I live a beautiful life. I live in an, in an entirely different world than what I grew up in. You know I don't have to worry about gangs or about drugs. I remember being told as a very young child four or five years old that if I find a needle to come in and tell someone and at that time we were living in a motel. It was my grandma, my grandpa, my uncle who's only nine months older than me. It was my dad, my stepdad and and my mom and I remember my uncle and I we would go outside and play I mean there really wasn't a playground it was a motel uh, but um somebody created a tire swing anyways that's off topic but um i remember us finding needles and i don't have to worry about it that anymore and it just it feels so good you know like in there was a point even when i remember and i don't know why but we lived in this trailer and it was really really old um it didn't have a locking or a latching door and i'm not sure why i will admit i grew up in a home where alcohol and domestic violence were prevalent um so i don't know if somebody broke it but uh I remember that door didn't shut and the way that we shut it was actually by using a wire hanger and we it was the wire hanger was wrapped around something on the door and it hooked to something inside of the trailer and I remember being terrified because I actually didn't have a bed I had to sleep on this couch that I think came with the trailer and I was terrified of that place and I think now I have a doorknob that works on my front door and it just it feels so good to just be able to relax and know that I'm in a safe place. Um, I can't imagine raising children, especially young children in a place like that. And unfortunately my mom and my stepdad had to do that. And I just, I don't know how, how they slept at night because I mean, that would, that would drive me insane. So yeah, I felt like La Vie Spell was very relevant to my life. The next one is China Glaze's Awakening. This is like this, I don't know, really warm purple that shifts to gold. It's very pretty. I've used a ton of this. Um, there was a night when my husband and I had planned on going out on a date and so I slapped this on and he took me to the city uh, lookout um, where you just, I mean, you drive up into this dirt area and you could see the whole city. And I live in a city, I live in an actual city. We have casinos and so it's just lit up in these beautiful colors. And I was wearing this and I I remember uh, we were sitting there and this police car pulls up and my husband was trying to propose to me. So this is kind of sentimental to me actually, but it makes me laugh at the same time. So those are all the polishes that I picked out. I didn't want to make this video too long, but this really makes me curious about you guys. So if there is a polish or even a few polishes out there that you feel 
uh, jump out to you because they relate to you, I would love to know. And I would love to know the story behind them. If you're comfortable, if you're comfortable sharing that with me, I would love to. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to know me a little bit more. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!